Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because I have Lola here. She is with WhatLolaLikes.com. You guys have to check her out, and for the full post on the outfit and hair pairing, you guys have to check out her blog post, and the link is gonna be below. But today, I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to get the faux hawk ponytail. Now, I posted this on my Instagram the other day, and everyone loved it, so here's the tutorial. Let's go and get started. Okay, for this hairstyle, what we wanna do is we wanna section out the top section first because this is where we're gonna actually be doing our Dutch braid back into our ponytail. So I'm just gonna do a square-like section. So just gonna comb her hair back. And then from about her recession area on both sides, just go ahead and part that going straight back almost to her crown area and then doing another section crossing it back. Now that I've gone ahead and clipped away our rectangle section, I'm just gonna take the remaining hair and just clip this away for a little bit later because this is the hair that's gonna be incorporated into our ponytail. So now I'm just gonna drop the section out and what we're gonna do is create our nice Dutch braid going back. I'm gonna use my pinky finger and then just create a nice section going across from it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and divide our um, hair into three sections and now with the Dutch braid all you're gonna do is work underhanded So we're taking our right section going under into the middle taking our left section going under into the middle Now that we've done one pass with all of our sections now we're gonna start incorporating the hair So I'm gonna take my pinky finger Take a little bit of hair to that right section now. I'm gonna take that section and go under into the middle now I'm gonna do that same thing on the opposite side. Take a little bit of hair from our left side, incorporate that into our left section, and go under into the middle. Now that I've gotten to the crown of the head, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure this with an elastic. Okay, before I incorporate the rest of the hair into it, now we're gonna create our faux hawk. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of thickening hairspray by Sexy Hair, just for a little bit of texture, and now I'm gonna start pulling on the hair. So basically we're pancaking it out. So just pulling on each section, section of hair. You can see after we've pancaked it, it's given it a lot of fullness. So after you get the amount of height that you want, now we're gonna go ahead and work the sides and the back section, and we're simply just gonna pull all of the hair into a really nice ponytail. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the hair a little bit with a little bit of hairspray, and then I'm simply just gonna comb it back. Lola has a lot of little flyaways. Her hair is really silky, really healthy, so we just wanna kind of give it a little bit of texture to where it stays and holds for us. I'm just gonna secure it with an elastic. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of hair from underneath and simply just wrap it around our ponytail just so we can hide that elastic. Then I'm gonna take the ends and then secure it with a bobby pin and simply just hide that little piece of hair. I like the sheepness that she has through in the sides and the volume on the top, but I want a little bit more volume in her ponytail. So what I'm gonna do is take the Sexy Hair Voluminizing Hairspray and just really get in there and hairspray a little bit just for a little bit of fluffiness and fullness in her pony. I think that gives it a really nice balance with our faux hawk and then our fluffy pony. 
All right, so there you ladies have it. A really fun rockin' faux hawk ponytail. I hope you enjoyed it. And then now I'm gonna do a little bit of editorial twist on it, because you know I love to do that. So basically, to take this hairstyle to the next level, to make it really avant-garde, I'm gonna actually pull on the Dutch braid a little bit more to make this really, really full. So with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull. I'm gonna put a little bit of spray clay in there just for a little texture. And then simply get kind of aggressive with it, so I'm just gonna pull on each side of the braid, pull it straight out, and just have a little bit of fun with it. All right, so there you guys have it. A really fun editorial, kind of big faux hawk version of this. So I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram at the Confessions of a Hairstylist. And if you want to link with Lola, I'm going to go ahead and put her links below. And I'll see you girls soon.